Now, Jennifer, in your book, you mentioned about the silent, um, you know, the silent realm. Can yes. you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, you know, even in heaven, there was a, a time of silence. When we learn how to still our soul, you know, be still and know that I am God, not emptying our mind as they would teach in different religions, but stilling our soul. We enter into a place where we get on God's frequency and we're able to see and hear in ways that we have. And I'll give you one quick example. I, I, would, I stilled my soul and I began to meditate on Revelation 4. And it says, and, the, and, and, and there was a, a, a voice that, there was a door open in heaven and a voice cried out that said, come up here and I will show you things that must soon take place. And I could not get off that scripture. I know you've had this happen where it's just, it's like, illuminated. My sure. heart is part. Now, this was after a period of probably 30 minutes of just silence and then going in. And then I had a vision and the door was cracked open in heaven. And I was like, wow, what is this? And I'm getting excited and I'm still trying to be still, you know, sure. and here comes a hand that reaches out and goes like this inviting me forth. And so a lot of encounters with God, they can happen spontaneously. We know that. Sure. But a lot of it is stilling our soul. And that means being silent. Contemplative prayer is, is one of the ways to just be silent. And you see right. and hear things in that silent mode that you don't when your mind is here, there, and everywhere being distracted. Right. What is